lewdness, NJ, 2C14-4. Okay, lewdness is the conduct or act of uh, deliberately exposing one's genital area to uh, other members of the public who, uh, you know, may not or consent or, or, or haven't consented uh, to view such uh, a spectacle. And, uh, uh, you know, for purposes of uh, arousal or communicating to other people that, uh, you know, you're doing something in a, of a sexual or prurient nature, P-R-U-R-I-E-N-T. Uh, to illustrate this, just think of someone flashing uh, themselves uh, with a raincoat in a park, you know, to, in public to people. Um, and that's what uh, this offense is. Now, um, there's a distinction to be made between lewdness and innocent nudity. And that distinction is, if you are innocently naked, you're not trying to get anybody's attention. Um, and you're not trying to communicate to them that you want to be sexually active in some way for your own gratification. Um, there's a case, State versus Pinto. It's an unreported appellate decision that uh, basically says that, that you've got to have some kind of uh, uh, motivation that's uh, you know sexual in nature when you expose yourself in order for the act to or the conduct to constitute a violation of the lewdness statute. Uh, having said that, um, I've had many of these cases, uh, and uh, the distinction is always to be made. You know what was the actor intending? Um, I've had I've had good luck getting people out of this. It's an embarrassing topic. The courts don't like it. Uh, you start off with the presumption that you're some kind of pervert if you're charged with this, because uh, only a pervert would be charged with this. Um, and then you have to work your way into, uh, this isn't really quite what lewdness is. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, I represented a guy last year who had a pool. He lived in a rather rural area, but he had neighbors. He had a, a hedge around his pool, and he and his wife just liked to bathe naked. And uh, they were out in their porch naked. Uh, you had to look through the hedge to see them. But two college girls who were neighbors did do that, and they and they made a complaint. He was charged with lewdness. Um, after a lot of wrangling, I was able to get him out of it because he wasn't trying to get their attention in any way. Um, you know, another example, I had a guy at Long Beach Island who uh, was prancing around in, you know, little tidy whiteies on, on the beach, which you know, everybody does. But he made the bad mistake of uh, trying to hit on an undercover male police officer who took offense and brought a lewdness charge against him. Now, um, the argument I was able to successfully make was that, you know, the conduct didn't amount to lewdness. It might have been offensive to the officer, but, uh, you know, language and, you know, wiggling your hips and saying, hey, fella, you know, how about we go behind the bench? That's not lewdness. That's just something, you know, that's offensive. Okay, I've also had cases where the people were absolutely guilty, uh, uh, and you know I was able to get the charges reduced uh, to something less bad. Um, my name is Stephen A. Gravatt. Uh, my telephone number is seven three two three three seven seven nine two two. If you've been charged with lewdness, um, it's an embarrassing topic. The courts don't like it, um, and it is usually a disorderly person's offense, meaning your exposure is a fine of up to $1,000, possible jail, uh, up to 180 days, uh, and a disorderly person's criminal record. However, if the conduct you uh, exhibit is found to constitute lewdness and the victim is under 13 or 13 or under years of age, it can be elevated to a fourth degree crime. Uh, if the victim is found to be someone who's mentally ill or uh, you know, doesn't have the capacity to understand what you're trying to do, that's also a fourth degree crime. Um, this is serious stuff. You can, you, know, you can get in quite a bit of trouble and it's not a very fun topic for most courts to deal with. So there is this tendency to want to convict you. And if you are a repeat offender, um, there is tendency to get jail time because it's so distasteful. Anyway, uh, give me a call. I can help you. Uh, thank you.